Hey YouTube, well I did a video the other day on what I think I said was the one of maybe the prettiest bass ever. Yeah, well, see the thing is, I've got a couple of others that I could kind of hear screaming from the rest of the house. Um, so, the Aria PB1500, it's, needs new strings, they're disgusting. But one of the things that was kind of screaming out to me was, which I've not actually compared these two together yet, is... The scavenger which um is in many ways quite similar um so it's again it's through neck it's good this does have the wooden colored truss rod um cavity cover but this would when i got this it was painted terracotta red i couldn't believe it when i took when i scraped it all off and it came out like that so we've got brass bridge with big massive brass saddles on it We've got the carved top um yeah so is this one prettier than the other one that was a, that's a bit of thumbnail oh god these both both these are quite heavy they go quite well together though to be honest don't they um so in that on the area you've got the original battling headstock which are quite sought after and then that's got the this the scavenger yes so you might know these from um i've got a few washburn wing guitars the, the hawk and the falcon and the eagle um so there's a there's a bass version there's two bass versions as well there's a cheaper one called the scavenger i i've been calling this the scavenger this is the vulture yeah so A bad input jack on this one but i mean i haven't, I haven't had this one as long as i've had the pb but i've, I've gigged this um just because it, it took me so long to find one of these these are uh, rare 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 things uh, probably not as rare as that but disgusting strings on this This is the down tune bass in my in the Black Sabbath after the end band. type jack socket the ones I hate just get the impression it's not a quite full volume
actually thinking about it, um, why are the strings so rusty? Um, I had this in when I was in that blues band for, I think it was only two weeks, it was maybe three weeks, but I definitely took this. I think I was in for two weeks and I took this bass the first time. Yeah. Take in something fancy to show off. Um, so this was my, my, my blues one. And it does just have the sound for that sort of thing. So, I'd, so it comes in with prettiest. Now, well, I like this shape better. Um, balance wise, it's not great. It's kind of the same as that. It's got that sort of, it wants to sit horizontally, but you're not exactly holding it off. That's just a problem with a, a neck. You know, if you look at like a P bass or something, there's a big horn that comes over the top to try and move your strap button. So it balances a bit better. Um, this is kind of devoid of any sort of contouring. But again, this one didn't sell well either. Someone, you know, talking about that, it's like they, when they brought out the PE guitars, the Prototype Electric, they were called, designed by H. Noble, who's the guy um, who worked for Matsumoku Factory. Uh, they were said, this is the, the ultimate electric guitar. We're going to build these from now on. And to be fair, they still build them. Um, the PE guitar, that's a Prototype Electric. Or was that PB prototype base? For some reason that never took off. Um, they never ma continued making them. They only made them for a couple of years, and even then, I think they were sort of in the catalogue, but nobody bought them. They might have been very expensive. Maybe that was the reason. Um, and but the, the the actual PE guitar, okay, it's changed. You know, the bits have been modified over the years, but it's still. When I was in that shop in Hamilton, the one the Jim Deacon shop, they had a modern PE something. And I was I, I wanted it to compare to my my original nineteen seventy eight one because there were there was enough lot of things the same it was the same outline and it was just lots of the design features were the same and they're, so they're still making that guitar you know fifty years later um which is quite impressive and I suppose I don't know why the wings never really stayed they came back in the nineties a bit but the wings bases again you do see some of the scavenger which is the bolt on cheaper neck one and this is the vulture. So there were only two bases. There was a sort of cheap one and then the through neck one. Whereas in the in the electric guitars, they had a hawk, which was basically this spec, and then they had a much fancier one, which was a falcon. I've got like the one with the rosewood top. It's got tons of binding and brass, everything on it. And then even higher than that, you get an eagle. But they never did like any. So this would be like a hawk base. They never did the falcon or the eagle base versions because obviously the solid rosewood top one would just be the best base in the world. Um, there are rumours that there was a bass called a Condor at some point, but no one's ever seen it. Um, so as it did, this is the best one they did. And I assume price, because I mean, I've, I've very rarely seen them. I've seen a couple, um, maybe two or three for sale. I've not been looking the last couple of years, but it took me ages to find one because I had all, all the guitars. I was like, I need the bass, I need this bass. <laughs> Obviously, the bass is a new output jack. Same with the PB needs either the, the, sw the switches, the pots either squished with contact cleaner or um, replaced because they're really scratchy. Definitely doesn't seem as loud, but I, I, think, this, I think we've had problems with that input jack. I don't think it's letting all the signal through. at one point going to make a, a short scale bass version of these because I've actually well, I've now had two of the Raven which were the the bolt on neck um, guitar version um, one of them I just got painted I got j packs so I've still got the other one which I was going to at one point make into thinking 
like a 20, 32 inch scale neck on it maybe be pretty cool this is a bit of a a big beast it has a little bit of the thunderbird feel about it just because it's huge um it does I and mean, one of the coolest photos of any bass player ever is if you, if you type in washburn vulture uh up comes this picture it's just from the 70s i think or the 80s maybe some just some black dude smoking a fag just standing there with one of these bases and it's just like yeah that's totally that's as cool as it gets I haven't mentioned them. both of these um, bases have brass nuts as well. That was a and the, the coffee table era brass was a well known thing. I think I saw switch cleaner down here. Did I not see switch cleaner down there? You see it somewhere? Wonder if I can make this input jack less shit output jack. I think it's one of those things where I, could basically, I should just replace it, but I went for the old... Oh, it's the original part. I'll see if I can rejuvenate it by bending it with pliers and stuff like that. So if you ever wonder, oh, switch cleaner's overrated. It's underrated. It's awfully cool. And I, I, had, I had a bit of a... This, there was a bit of a story with this bass. Um, I actually, when I first joined the Black Sabbath band, I'd actually already ordered it. My pal found this in Denmark for a reasonable price. I didn't know it was painted red. He said it was factory red. He'd obviously not had a proper look at it. And a red one's pure rare. No one's ever seen a red one before. And then about six months later, he found another one, one this colour. And he offered to send me the other one the one that was this colour, and then free if he could keep the red one, because the red one was rare, and I was like, no, no, I need to have the red one, and I got it, and it just been painted really badly red, so um, it didn't have the Washburn logo on it, but I managed to, it just basically took forever polishing this thing to get it back, that's why if you look at the cavity cover, that's the colour it was, it was a sort of terracotta thing, but in below it was the original tobacco sunburst, although it's got a slight redness to it, which they don't often do, um, but I just think, there's something about the shape. This was also available as a... Well, if you can find one at all, you're doing well. But uh, there was also a, P, a PJ version. Sometimes the, the pickup's here as well. There's a different... different like there's one that's the same as this, but the... Is it the pickup? No, the neck. This is the long neck one. There's a short neck one, which basically the bridge is here. So the neck comes into here or something. So it probably balances a little bit better. I'm not really sure exactly how you designate them. I don't know if it was a different model or whether they just didn't really make very many of them. You know, there may be only a couple of hundred of these of any sort. So you get one, the neck comes in to here somewhere. So it doesn't have the, not that you ever need high freight access, but um, it's probably just slightly better balanced. Um, and you also get one with a, the P base pickups here instead of in here. And there's also one that's a PJ um, configuration. <laughs> I quite enjoy doing the, the prettiest thing because it is nice having pretty things. Um, I mean, just going for my view on this up till now, I don't know if I've ever actually put the two of them together. And so I'm going to hang them both on the wall and um, decide which one is which one is prettier. But I mean, this one I've used in the studio loads of times and I've gigged a lot of times. That one I'm pretty sure I took it into the Sabbath band once. Um, <sighs> This one just has that bad vibe on it for the months I spent scraping it, but I mean it looks good now. Yeah, so I'm quite, as I said, I'm quite enjoying doing this pretty things. I don't know if maybe do pretty guitars as well. I'm not really sure. I don't generally tend to have pretty guitars. I'm not the. I, 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 to be honest, I don't think either of these is the bass one. 
but it's the prettiest one. Um, that'll be in a couple of days or something like that. I'll look it out. Um, they're just they're a, a similar. Probably, I'd imagine probably basically a similar sort of thing. Really, eighties Japanese. We're going to make a base. It's pure ridiculous, you know, through neck, and they've just gone for a, a more or less poly thing. And this one, you know, so you get Matsumuku and you Yamaki fighting against each other, trying to make the best base, and it's like. I don't know which one's better. I just think I just think there's something about the symmetrical horns in this just look fantastic. I don't know if I'm wearing exactly the right outfit. It's a little bit. Maybe I would like it if it was less dark. It, it's not really. It doesn't really show up very well in the in the camera. But it is. It's a really nice deep oyster and stuff like that. And you can see it's made of ash on the back as well. It's the fancy stuff. And it's also through. Um, it's got a better bridge than that one. The three point. Epiphone EVO type bridge thing's not a brilliant design. That's pretty solid, although it is pretty much decked. It won't go any lower than that. Um, but it's just big, massive brass blocks. I've actually got an Encore base, which the, the, the neck was broken on it, but it comes with this. I think it's a Goto standard. I've seen this a few times on, like, see, the late 80s when they started making the move from Japan to Korea. I think they took over parts, so you would get, like, next 1987 Korean model replacing the Japanese one would have branded hardware on it it's just the rest of the guitar wasn't Japanese but so I think that's where this comes from um I do like it they've actually I was actually thinking of putting one of these on the the wee red base there just because look at it it's cool <laughs> yeah so I don't know well votes which one's cooler? I don't know which one's more expensive. This one, this one lights up better in the light, the way it is just now. So maybe I'd give that one a bit of a better one for colour, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Also, does this one not, am, I, am I right in thinking this one's actually it's good? Aye. So, it's a through neck, right? But they decided to paint this bit here black, so you can't see, I mean it is. If you look at it up to the light, you can see the stripe running all the way through it, but I'm, if I've got a through neck guitar, I want everyone to know it's through neck. And uh, that, that this big scoop thing here is um completely useless, really. It, it doesn't it, it, it you don't put your hand there ever. Um it just looks cool. But I mean that's alright. <laughs> Rock on! And uh, Prettiest Bass Part 3 coming up. And I'll need to have a little look and start thinking about pretty guitars. I don't know. Cause, I mean, these are the sort uh, of, we call it the coffee table era when in the late 70s and early 80s, it was like the best guitars were brass and really highly polished wood. But I don't really know if I've got any guitars that are like that. They tend to be very expensive. You know, the equivalent versions. Well, I've got the equivalent of this, but I don't. Mind you, I just kind of have the equivalent of that, yeah. But I don't know if either of them. I think the, the, the Falcon will have to go in the prettiest ones. And maybe Ibanez RG530 has got to go in the prettiest ones. Um, I'm not sure what other ones I've got that really fit in pretty. Rock on! Oh, and I got 4,000 subs, so thanks you lot, that's great. Uh, I'm going to set, I've got so many videos that I never put out live out in the car and stuff like that. I'm going to set up over Christmas a membership thing so that you don't have to watch adverts. It'll be like a pound a month or something stupid. Plus I'll put on, I'll be much less discriminatory with my videos and I'll just put out more that are just talking shite. And I'll maybe lesser the ones that are for general public so it's just ones that I think will be a big hitter. Or I might not. It depends, I'm going to play the... I can't believe I was calling this the scavenger. I'm going to play the vulture for a bit. And then I'm going to hang up the wall there next to the PB and then look at the two of them and go, damn fine pair of basses. But just beautiful, pretty, not just good. Rock on! <laughs> 